Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for how do they feel about you right now? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a person with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, I, um, I have another channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries. And if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. Um, so one of the, a couple of the releases you guys may be interested in is I did John JonBenet Ramsey, that case. I worked on the Black Dahlia case, um, Hinder Kai effect. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. And then the, the case I'm going to be releasing soon is going to be on Natalie Wood. So if you're interested in that, you may want to check out my second channel. There's other, also other videos up there for you guys to watch. I have multiple videos. So, uh, yes. And please let me know what you think in the comments below. All right. So. Leo, we're going to be looking at the status of this connection, okay? We're going to look at how do they feel about you, what actions they're going to take, and then kind of give an overall understanding of the connection in general. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on with my uh, Leo's connection? Let me get the status of this connection. Let me get nine cards and status of this connection with my Leo's love interest. Let me get an understanding of how Leo's love interest feels about Leo. And let me also get one card for what action Leo's love interest is going to take towards them. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, we got the Three of Pentacles energy. We got the Seven of Pentacles energy. We got the Moon card energy. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Temperance, we have the Four of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So the status is, and we see the bottom of the deck, oh wow, I'm carrying around a lot of loss. You're everything that I want. And go further here. I really want a stable connection. There's a happy energy here. You can make a decision. So three of pentacles, this could be a work relationship here. You could work with this person with the three of pentacles energy. Um, there's a want for this person to find a creative solution. Your person is in a situation where they feel like they've invested a lot of time in this connection or they wanna see how things are gonna play out here. Your person is a bit confused with the moon card energy, or they're kind of concerned that they maybe they're not seeing things the right way. Either there's already a marriage here, or there is already this solid foundation here for wands energy, or this person really wants a marriage or a solid foundation here. It looks like your person's like, I've been going down this road, but I feel like I want to get off the beaten path here. I've tested the waters and I want to bring things into balance. I also want to look at my intuitive cards, guys. What other clarification can you give me, Spirit, for Leo's interest when it comes to the status of this connection? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There could be three people involved with this for some of you guys. Okay. Oh my goodness, this person is constantly thinking about you. And how to bring things together. It's like they try to confront you about things and they don't feel like you're telling them the truth. And they want the travel, the movement, the change, the distance for there to be like a, a place of home. It's like they, they know that you have a lot of options, Leo. And so they're like, should I give my heart to Leo? Because sometimes they ignore me and it confuses me and my happiness. I try to get their attention and I bait them in 
because I feel that they're so attractive. But it's like they kind of ignore me. I see some changes here. I'm hoping that if I can look a certain way, if I can change my look, if I can look attractive, that I can just hold their attention. Okay. I constantly think about them. And I'm confused about the future. But I just love them so much. And being with them just excites me. It makes me happy. It makes me at peace. They're like my home. And like literally, I feel like in this last card here, it's like you they definitely have already felt like there's some family here, like you know, there's there's growth here. They've already like envisioned everything that they want around this connection. And they've really thought about it. They really have some plans here. Lots of the, I don't feel like they're telling you about it though. They're kind of hiding that from you. Okay. So that's the status of the connection. Yeah, there is the ace of pentacles. The nurturing supportive energy, an offer, a potential for a long-term commitment. Okay, let's see how they feel about you. Ooh, wow, they see you. Leo, they feel that you're their ideal partner. And they feel that there is a lot of growth here, a lot of potential in the connection, and they feel like they want some kind of good news. They do have concerns, though, that uh, they feel like maybe you don't want to commit with the Knight of Wands energy. They definitely want to be with you. They want to be committed to you. If you're not already married to this person, this person wants to marry you. This person feels that you are very independent, self-focused at times. And so they really try to fight hard to get your attention. Six of Wands energy. Yep, there's the argument fighting mm -hmm. to get your attention. This person really wants to dispute the arguments and the competition to end here. Um, this person feels confused about what to do. Seven of Cups energy. So let's get more information here. Okay, let's use Kipper. How does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Leo's love interest feel about Leo's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There you go again. The person feels like they want your attention. They may feel like you're really focused on work or you work together. Yeah, mean person. They feel like they want to communicate with you to gain some kind of control. Concerns about loss, they feel like they have loss of control around the connection. They feel like they want to travel towards you to heal the situation. And there's concerns about some deceptions. Especially around travel with you guys. This person feels like you're hiding something from them. How does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Leo's love feel about me, Leo's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, they see the money and finance card there. See, they have feelings for you. They, they, like, they feel like you like to socialize. They want to make the effort here towards an apology, a reconciliation, because this isolation and separation is causing them a little bit of indecisions and the commitment. And they're ready for this big change here. Your person feels like they want to invest time in the connection. They are obsessed with you and they have the strong chemistry and passion. They want to communicate about these delays and challenges and this isolation, this separation, the soul searching that they've been doing and stressing about this connection, they feel like there's something deeper about the connection between you and them. They're missing you and they want to gain some kind of control here to be happy about the situation. So very soon they're going to make a decision here. They have concerns about an infringing party in the relationship and they really want an opportunity to defend their position. I get the sense they want it to be safe for them to love. So they're making the best decision here. 
because there's a lot of regret or they've been looking at the past a lot of what's happened. Okay, so let's find out the action they're gonna take towards you, the next action here. The next action is an apology, a reconciliation, a healing here. They're concerned though, they're, you're not gonna accept what they have to offer. So they're gonna do this situation, they're gonna try to overcome these challenges very delicately with the Six of Swords energy. They're gonna do this when the timing is right. They're gonna offer an opportunity because they're really overwhelmed, they feel burdened or they feel like you have a lot of burdens and responsibility. They really do want a relationship here and they want some big changes to happen when it comes to this juggling and they want a decision to be made here with the Two of Pentacles energy. So let's see what else is going on with this connection. What else does Leo need to know about their love connection that they don't know that they need to know? Better understand, help them better understand this connection. What does need to see? Show the cards I need. Two. See? So you guys really enjoy spending time together, that's for sure. It's like you really have a good time when you go out and and it's just like I get the sense also some of you guys like to take vacations together and go to like the beach or like exotic places. Yeah, because there's a waterfall there. It's like um, there is definitely a silver lining here when it comes to you and this connection. And this is actually bringing a very sacred experience in, like a very nurturing experience in that's bringing light to both of you. It's like a sense of discovery here. There is a lot of potential for abundance in this connection and lots of dating, lots of spending time together, lots of romance. I do feel like through this though, this is gonna really produce something here. It's really gonna, you're really gonna see a lot of growth in the connection. But definitely there's some stuff going on when it comes to chemistry, passion, passionate exercises here, okay? Or uh, someone who's really, one of you guys is kind of open-minded about passion, passionate things, passionate exercises. Trying to find a creative solution here. And it seems like there needs to be a little bit more boundaries, restrictions, uh, a little bit more of an understanding of a clear line there that needs to be brought to light towards a happy uh, medium there because it seems like one of you guys feels like there's issues around self-respect and that needs to be worked out, that needs to be dealt with there. So you see, see the forgiveness card? All right, my beautiful Leos, I'm gonna just pull another card for you guys just for some advice. Can I suffice for my Leos when it comes to their love connection for the highest best good for the best possible time for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Leo. Okay, so it says at the threshold you stand before you lies away, a being that is beyond fear. So the saying, look beyond fear. Don't fear the situation. It is a sacred passing through a karmic veil into a new life of empowerment, peace, and unconditional love. You are coming home to love. So even though there's a lot of self-doubt, there's a lot of fear about the connection, Spirit is saying you're gonna get through that tough time and you're gonna see that there's a lot of love here in the connection. And just going down one more layer here, the inspired intuitive message messages you have been receiving which are unconditional loving fearless and encouraging you to grow and to be your true self from your higher guidance so they're saying that these this this love connection this situation is showing you how to love from a higher perspective being of divine light and then saying that there's a bigger picture here being of divine light are guiding you with messages of unconditional love. It is safe to trust in your growing divine connection and inner knowing. Doing so will bring you great joy. So they're saying to trust 
in what your spiritual signs are to pay attention to those and to trust that this is there's a bigger picture to this connection that maybe you're not seeing at the moment but i feel like in time you'll have a bigger realization about it all right my darlings i love you guys so much if you guys like this you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys another day or two have a great rest of your next couple days there's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now i love you guys so much and i will see you guys soon